up man and welcome back to the channel once again and it's your boy watch arrangements and we're back with another so check this out we finna go ahead and look at this summer band jam of 2024 yes sir y'all know we gotta slide through we gotta see all of the summer bands so we gonna watch them all so you know yeah i am behind but you know i wanted to make sure that everybody got theirs out the way so you know your boy can slide through and get in the way, you know what I mean? But look, we got the summer band jam up. Look, I ain't even gonna hold y'all, man. Let's go ahead and slide on through. All right, y'all, let's give a major shout out to Smash Time for this dope footage. Hey, yo, let's get to it. Smash Time is in the building. All right, so let me see. We got Regulators 337. Oh, they do, they the only two on the field? Okay. Fuck! Okay, uh... Somebody yell. <laughs> Then they bring it back. That's crazy right there. That's 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 dirty work. That's that's just dirty right there. To bring this back, like your baritone sound like marching trombones. Uh mellophones. Go for what you know. Trump is I I I don't even know what to say. Uh Steph Curry. <laughs> If you know, you know. Uh, 
Man, look, uh, I ain't got time for this. Let's. <laughs> Why do bruh have a shovel? Why? Like why? What are you? You finna plant some flowers or something? I'm not even gonna lie. It always be the ones with the thinnest tone that be wanting to talk all the mess. Like bro, stop it. I don't even know either. It must be violence in the band because it sounds like somebody's fighting. Like, what's going on? Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, that, sir, uh, sir, did you, did you write this song? Like, why you was in a cafeteria fight or something? Like, bro, like, good God, like this ain't everywhere. Hold on. They start beating each other. He cannot be listening to this with the same ears as me. I promise you he could. Good job, Piccolos. Do he literally got the audacity to stand there and jump up and down like that? Like that was his own song? Bro, where do these people come from? Do they not 
I hear this? Hey! Gravy! Did he say gravy? One. Start humming for the Two. tempo, okay. One. Interesting. Two. Ready. Hey man, what's your business, man? Get the right note to us? Cut it all. Oh, call it that possum band? What? Turn to the side. They don't know which way to face.
Eche, 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 Come up, son. sound right here though. if I be honest for a minute. Is it okay if I be honest for a minute? Uh (laughs) 
Oh, uh, goodness gracious. Oh, uh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to officially believe that nobody thought about tone quality, uh, proper execution, uh, formatting the arrangement to the program, uh, actual score study. Um, yeah, proper warm up techniques. You know, nobody just cared about, you know, any of the great stuff that makes you a solid program. They just got a bunch of people together and said, let's play today. Like, that's what we did. Like, wow, this is, this is. Ooh, this is Monaco right here. This is. I think I just came up with a new word. This is ending Googleus. Goodness. Man, what is this? Good God Almighty. Uh, oh. I ain't got no words. Like, this is. Terrible. Oh. Now, we should want to. This is a show that you give the people? Wow, it's Quick, hold on. Let, let's ride back real fast. Just pay attention to the right side of the screen, y'all. Know what? Let's zoom in. What? <laughs>
Hey, that wasn't it, bro. Like, my goodness, man. on your mama. You completely lied, brother. I'm sorry. intriguing to me. <laughs> Goodness.
time to yell. songs like I only think I recognize two songs at the whole battle. It's crazy. y'all so that was um, that was the summer band jam of 2024 and okay yeah let's let's just go ahead and get to the meat of this like the best one out of all of this train wreck was the regulators best one and i think you know, to call anybody winning in this battle, the only people that I can see winning is the ones that were standing on outside of the field. All right, yeah. This this was a display of where technique and actual teaching did not take place. I'm sorry. You cannot say that y'all got in them trenches and was like, teaching teaching because of if you were the sound would not have been like this i don't care how small or how big the program was if you're you're doing some real you know in the trenches teaching that wouldn't have sounded like that i don't care how you would knowing that uh what's that golden triangle you had three trombones one baritone three trumpets and then you had, you know, clarinets and I think what saxophone. I couldn't can't remember everything else, but you had. But that could have played to your advantage. Instead of writing for a big program, wrote for your program. You got three trombones. That's three part harmony. You got a baritone and three trumpets. You don't necessarily need that baritone on the melody. You could have gave that baritone to help out with the thirds for trombone and gave the trumpets the melody have them team up with the woodwinds and then at times bring it all the way down have the woodwinds have they shine just to display some dynamics and you could have worn this battle hands down because everybody else was just loud and wrong at this point so like golden triangle you had the chance to be able to win this battle but you went into this battle with the wrong mindset of trying to play loud that wasn't gonna work in your favor it was not. You got one baritone player trying to play it up, and you can tell from how he was looking, because he was constantly looking up, he was trying to remember the music. Man, you better clip that cell phone to that bell and have that music there, like majority of these people were doing this whole summer. Like, it's just something you gotta do. Something you gotta do. Like, I say go to the drawing board. If you got a program that's small, loudness should not be the first thing you go to. 
regulators. I don't know what was going on. Y'all were y'all were okay for the most part, but Trumpers are just going every which way. Tubers. Y'all sound like E flat tubers. Like them trying to sound thin. Bertones, y'all ain't out the gate either, cause y'all thin too. Like your your tone. Tone is a uh, completely it's not there. It's not there. We too busy pinching down to try to hit these high notes when you should be actually filling that horn up. So sometimes we gotta we gotta think outside of the box when it comes to, you know, especially baritone players and trombone players trying to play these really, you know, unnecessary high notes in these songs. A C, yeah, I can grant you that. You going above that, you actually doing the most right now. Because to be honest, above that C, you're out of the range of that horn. To be still above the B flat is actually out of the range because you're going into a mellow range. But that C is, you know, really what cuts it. They, you know, they gives you that. But beyond that, you're really going too far. And, you know, for you not to have a thickness and then you playing up there, it really sounds funny. So a lot of tone builder should have been going on in rehearsal. It should have been literally 45 minutes of tone building exercises. Now, what's that, 337? Like, some of y'all songs sound like a royal rumble. Like, what was, it seemed like everybody was everywhere playing whatever they wanted. The first, I think the first song y'all played, it sounded like nine different songs at one time. Like, no, no. You could not have been in that band room and heard them play this song and it sounded exactly like that and you didn't say nothing about it. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. That, that, I, that blew my mind right there. So, yeah. All three programs have things to work on. And then you got to understand that you all have youth in these programs. They're learning this behavior. So what do you think going to come from this? That's what, to be honest, getting down to the get down. That's why a lot of directors don't want their students in these programs. Because sometimes it does more harm than help. Because what? Let's say your student was at one of them programs. Now you got to break a bad habit because they didn't. They didn't had the free. They had the complete freedom to do what they wanted to do and stand next to somebody that was just going any which way. And he's just in his head and he think that that's okay. It's not. Now you got to break this habit and you're gonna spend almost half the year breaking that habit. And you got to break it before it bleeds off into your other players. So this is the prime example of why, you know, you must teach. You must teach. You have to. Because if you don't, you're going to get this product. This is that on that. Like, yeah, okay. High school students are in this. So, like, they got to catch this smoke too. Like, that on that we can't sugarcoat it for them like i'm sorry so all three you know sounded like complete and utter chaos i can't there's nothing else i can glean from that but just chaos so look i happen to come and say little boy know who y'all think won this battle the field battle I've been coming since Legend Boy. No, who y'all think won this battle? Was it three three seven? Was it Golden Triangle? Or was it the Regulators? How in the comment section go crazy? Look, and with that being said, make sure y'all like y'all comment, y'all subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you know when your boys are loading and become a part of the family. Yes, sir. And with that being said, y'all look peace, love, a whole lot of her grease. Keep banding your life, and we out. <laughs>